Alright guys, welcome back. We have another question from chapter 2 which was requested by one of you guys and we have this 150 Newton pull T that is applied to a cord. So we have this cord in here and it's wound securely around the inner hub of the drum. So it's the dotted line that we have uh, inside of the drum and we know the radius is 125 millimeter. And we need to determine the moment of t about the drum center c so we need to find the moment of t about point c and in the second part of the question is asking at what angle theta so this is a typo in here this is theta should t be applied so that the moment about the contact point p is zero so in the second part of the question, we have to have T in a direction that the moment about point P, which is where the drum is touching the horizontal. So let's start with the first part of the question. And before we start, I'm receiving a lot of requests for the questions that we're going to solve in the channel. So please be patient because I'm putting everyone in the order and I'm going based on that order so it, it might be a while to get into your questions but just be patient it's gonna happen and we're gonna solve it in here and let's get started so so from the geometry we know that if we have this force and when we have a line tangent to a circle at a point that intersects the perimeter of the circle that would be perpendicular to the radius we have that line tangent in here which is the line of action of the force t which is this dotted line and we know if we consider this the radius these two will, will be perpendicular to each other so let's call this point where the line is so let's call this point where the tangent line intersecting the circle the inner circle uh, let's call it a and so for finding the moment we can use our 2d shortcut that we have and it's pretty straightforward since we have f and r and our f in here is t which is perpendicular to the radius so finding the moment is pretty easy we're going to call it counterclockwise positive and if we look at this we'll see that the moment is clockwise so we'll have a negative sign the t is 150 newton and the distance is basically the the diameter of the inner circle with dotted line which is 125 millimeter and we're going to divide it by a thousand to get it in meter unit and if that's the case we can find the answer which will be 18.75 newton and as i mentioned we have a negative sign in here that shows the moment is clockwise so that was the first part of the question and let's move on to the second part in the second board we have our t in a condition to make the moment about point P zero. Let's see how that's gonna happen. So the way the moment about P is going to be zero where we have the T or the line of the action of the T passing through the point P. So this will be our condition and let's call this angle will be our theta or what we have in here theta which is what the question is asking so this is the condition where we have our where we have our moment about point p zero and we have to figure that one out so again based on the geometry we have this line in here tangent to the outer circle so which means this we connect these two together this will be perpendicular and now we have that trick that we were using we are using for finding the angles where if we have two angles that each side is perpendicular to the other one, these two angles are the same. So we have these two. Uh, you guys can pause the video and try to figure out uh, what are these two in here. Then we can answer the second part of the question. So let's just pause the video and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, I'm sure you guys find the two angles that we were looking for. So we have these two which are perpendicular to this one so this one is perpendicular to this one and these two are perpendicular to this one so if that's the case these two angles are the same and what we call them one of them is the theta that i'm showing in green so if that's the case this angle right here is also theta and this is perpendicular the figure is not showing it the greatest but those two are perpendicular to each other we have a right triangle in here 
which we can figure out the the angle theta based on the dimensions that we have if we find that theta that would be the what we are looking for in this question and the second part which is the the angle theta so if we want to find the so the information that we have for this right triangle in here is that we know this is the radius of the inner hub and we have also the hypotenuse of that right triangle which is the radius of the drum or the outer circle so that's also 200 so for the angle theta we have adjacent and we have hypotenuse so if we go with the cosine of theta we we'll simply have adjacent which is 125 divided by hypotenuse is 200 and here theta will be cosine reverse of 125 divided by 200 we don't need to do the unit conversion in here because it's a ratio the numerator and the denominator will be cancelled out anyway so we don't need to do the unit conversion and if we do that we'll get theta 51.3 degrees i believe the question that you guys asked me was with different numbers so we had a different force and i think the diameters were also different but you just have to plug those number in here the rest is pretty similar so you just have to use instead of force whatever you have i think it was 185 so you just go 185 in here and the diameters that you have you just have to plug it in here and here and you you just get the different answer for theta and the moment but the rest is pretty similar and that would be all for this one uh you guys please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends that might find this helpful and you guys have a good one and i'll see you in the next video